It's my favorite time of year. It's me, Hubert, the ghost of Trivia Past. And I'm so excited to be here with you for Daily Trivia Live. Oh, what a wonderful time. All of you saying such nice things about me in the comments. And I think you're all wonderful. Congratulations to the Dodgers. Who are the champions? They live near here, I think. I think I heard some fireworks last night after they won. Well, congratulations to them. Yes, it is Halloween. It is my time. It is your time. It is a fun time. All of the questions in this game, by the way, are from prior Halloween games. So if you've been playing for a long time, that's going to help you out. Yes! <laughs> Hello, KLT Needler. Hello to you. <laughs> Happy Halloween. I can only be Helly 31. <laughs> Monseeker's calling the Ghostbusters to get rid of me. Oh, no. That won't work. They're my friends. We have an understanding. They don't come near me, and I don't bother them, and I don't haunt anything except this game. That was the deal that we made, and it's working out well. Hello, Sizemo. Hello. Who else do we have here? Beatrix309, happy Halloween to you as well. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Kay Jacobs, happy Halloween from South Dakota. How wonderful. People from all over the country and all over the world celebrate Halloween. And we all get to celebrate it together. How wonderful is that? Yes, Von Turner, I am going to shout out Sizemo and Dr. Mama and Owls and you Bean and Fimat and Asian One and JD Denver and many more. Oh, I've just done it. Wonderful. Maria XJ9 says candy bars tasted better when they came in the foil. There was something special about those foiled up candy bars. I'll give you that. But it's time to start. Happy Halloween, my fellow aficionados of angst. My hangers on of horror. It's time for the Halloween Spectacular here at Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. I'm Hubert, the ghost of trivia questions past, here to haunt you into becoming a winner and hopefully a friend as you play for today's grand prize. Ho oh, ho, that's $1,000, can you believe it? And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice ghosts of Halloween trivia questions past will split. In this game, you learn one bonus SP for every question you get right after question number one. Even if you've already been eliminated. How wonderful is that? If you win the game, they're automatically added to your prize. That's wonderful, too. Otherwise, you'll have to claim them at the end of the game to keep them. Not as wonderful, but still wonderful that you can walk away with something. So stick around until the end, my friends. The first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SB or with a free rejoin. Click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening, and get free rejoins by watching videos! Oh, I'm so excited about that for you! Each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Ooh, that's new, as far as I'm concerned. Here are the winners from Wednesday. Yes, they've all been credited, I've been told. So congratulations to you, Yenny, Cyclops, Princess Magic, Omi, Omi Ilzera. I think I said that right. And Snousk. Congratulations to all of you. And I want everyone here to be a winner, so remember to keep playing and claiming, because next time the winner could be you. It really could. Oh, I'm so excited for the show to begin, and I don't want to wait any longer, so let's eerily float into the game with question number one. Here we go. What two options do costume kids offer when they go door-to-door -door on Halloween? Is it trick or treat, love or hate, or sun or moon? Ding dong, you'd say, then they'd open the door, and what would you tell them? Unless you want to have your windows soaped, your trees TP'd, or a flaming bag of poo left at your door, which is not good, believe me. You better cough up that candy. That's the deal with trick or treat. Trick or treat is the answer. Pretty much everybody getting that one right. Well done. That is what we love to see. <laughs> this is so wonderful. I know most of you are out trick-or-treating, so I'm glad that some of you have stayed here to play with us. And every question you get right from here on in gets you one bonus SB. Here is question number two. In Carrie, what substance is dumped on her head at prom? Is it confetti, ice water, or pig's blood? What could it be? Hmm. Mm hmm. Do you remember this? This moment of horror? Ooh. Listen. It's never a good idea to bully anyone, okay? 
but when the victim has psychic powers, you are in big trouble. They shouldn't have dumped all that pig's blood on her. It just wasn't right. I'm telling you, 98% of you getting that one right. Well done. I know it was corn syrup in the movie, but it felt real to me and I didn't like it. It's very unsettling for your pal Hubert. Let's move on to question number three worth one bonus SB. What kind of animal does Count Dracula transform into? A meerkat, a grasshopper, or a bat? Oh, Count Dracula. Seems kind of scary to me. I never really got along with him. He can suck your blood out of your neck using his fangs. He can hypnotize, he can hypnotize you with his glowing eyes. And if you try to catch him, he'll just turn into a bat and fly away. I've seen him do it at parties. I've seen him do it at dinner. When the check comes, he just goes and flies off. Won't pay. Everybody got that one right. Have you gone to dinner with Dracula and had him fly away when the check comes? Not pleasant, dude. Here comes question number four, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What did the Halloween colors of black and orange originally represent? Pranks and candy, costumes and fear, or death and harvest? The two best colors, black and orange. Black represents death as foliage dies out. And orange represents the harvest when the life cycle of plants brings life to those who eat it. That's right, death and the harvest is the answer. 91% of you getting that one right. Now it means pranks and candy and costumes and fear. That's more modern, but originally, way back when, it was death and the harvest. And of the 9% of you who got eliminated, almost everybody rejoining. Yay! That's what I love about this game. You have another chance. Here comes question number five. It's another chance for you to get one bonus SB. In October, the Haribo headquarters hands out free candy to children who bring them what? Acorns, leaves, or old clothes? This was one of the hints I gave you on Instagram. Oh, yes, I hope you saw it. Hot tip for all, your Ger all you German children out there. If you want to score some free Haribo gummies, of course you do, all you have to do is bring them some acorns. They want acorns. Whoa, my goodness, 61% of you getting that one right. Not an easy question. To the grand prize. If not, you can stick around and earn bonus SB. There are more of those on the way, too. And it looks... Looks like we're going to get over 80% of the people eliminated right back in. Oh, that makes me so happy. Halloween. Let's move on to question number six. With one bonus SB. If Creepy Crawly or Silly Willy. This guy I don't mind too much. He's fun on a road trip. And this guy is all about gambling, especially with people's lives. And his day job is as the shadow on the moon at night. But we all know him better as Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie is the answer. 75% of you getting that one right. And he is creepy crawly. He's got a lot of creepy crawlies in him. But he's not called creepy crawly. I hope that helps, you silly willies. <laughs> Of the 25% of you who are eliminated, about half of you coming back in. Still almost 11,000 people in grand prize. Intention of people love Oogie Boogie, saying he's actually adorable and that he's the goat. I thought I was the goat. Oh, well. Let's move on to question number seven, worth one bonus SB. Which of the following... ...in special... your holiday have a very buffy halloween in that one never ha happened oh my goodness it's only 27 oh we had some tough ones in the past more balanced is what we like to say but of the 73 percent of you who were eliminated Almost two-thirds of you coming right back, and everybody else remembering to stick around because there are more bonus SB, and you have to claim the ones you have. Of course you do. Let's 
Cohen got one of his first showbiz jobs as an assistant editor on which horror movie? Is it The Howling, Scanners, or The Evil Dead? This was a hint. The process of working on this Sam Raimi film inspired Joel and his brother and they have Evil Dead to thank. The Evil Dead is the answer. 86% of you getting that one right. Oh, I'm so happy that my clue worked and that you got it and were able to use it here in this game. How oh, wonderful. <laughs> Let's move on to question number nine. It's our second to last question worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Q9. What term is given to the miniature versions of full-size candy? They're called Joy Size, Fun Size, or Wee Ones. What could it be? Hmm. You know, they use this term, but I don't think it fits. Since I'm often left thinking, where did the rest of the candy go when someone gives me a fun size anything? Fun size is the answer. I mean, it's fun that they're little, but then you need a bunch of them to make a whole candy bar. You get it. 6,016 of you knew that answer. You've made it this far, and you're ready for our final question. Did you know that we do other theme games here at Daily Trivia Live? In fact, on Monday, we've got a breakfast cereals game for you. Oh, lovely. I love breakfast cereal, especially the sugary ones. Join us Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and play for the $1,000 grand prize. You will not have to dig through a box of cereal to get it. Here's another thing I'd like you to do, especially on Halloween, where I always think of others. Think about the friends and family you could be referring to Swagbucks. If you refer someone to Swagbucks, check this out, and they earn... 300 SB in their first 30 days on the site, you get a $3 bonus. Plus, you get a 10% match on their earnings for life. Isn't that incredible? They're doing well. You're getting all these gift cards. Everybody's getting something. And Hubert gets a warm feeling in his heart knowing that you're spreading the word about Swagbucks and maybe Daily Trivia Live. Who knows? Check that out after the game because anyone out there could be referring someone out there all right, we have 6,024 people in grand prize contention. Almost 15,000 have stuck around to the end, and I have one more bonus SB to anyone who can correctly answer question number 10. Here it is. Which horror film centers around a cursed videotape that kills you after you watch it? Is it The Ring, Alien, or Friday the 13th? What movie am I talking about? Ooh! You know, there's probably a remake coming where it's a YouTube video that goes viral, but a scary videotape was the center of the plot of The Ring. The Ring is the answer. 5,827 people knew that answer and are splitting our grand prize today. Oh, that's so wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Let's meet some of our grand prize winners, each of you getting 18 SB, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Waters Gaddy, you are a winner. Congratulations. DV Spindler, you did it. Paula Trouty, you're a winner. Picosa, 13. And Maria Harrells, 27. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners. And those of you who are in bonus SB and claim them, you know what to do with your SB, don't you? Yes, you can redeem them for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job all week long. Come back Monday for our breakfast cereal game. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and I'll see you sooner rather than later, my friends. Goodbye!